Doctor Who, Scherzo. I'm sorry, it occurs to me since I'm hiding here from so many nothings and somethings. I don't yet know whether I should be hiding from you as well. Who are you? Doctor, you know me, I'm Charlie. Charlie? Yes. You remember? Rubbish. What? Charlie's safe, I know she is. It's me, Doctor. No, Charlie wouldn't betray me. She wouldn't betray me like that. Ugh. Doctor! Help! Doctor, it's trying to speak. Impossible. It's barely evolved a rudimentary nervous system, let alone a means to master conversation. Help! What are you? We want to help. Help! Yes, yes, we'll do our best help, to... Help, 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 Doctor! I don't know. It's Pitch Got Black here, and welcome back to another Doctor Who review. Today, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Scherzo, uh, which was requested by Doctor Forever. So, without further ado, let us begin this reviewing of Scherzo. So, let's take a look at the front cover, starring Paul McGann in Doctor Who Scherzo, uh, with Infant the Fish as Charlie, and then here we've got um, two hands in, uh, holding each other. Uh, so, yeah, very basic cover art, and then here we have uh, a full cast audio drama on a double CD. And there's a look at the spine. Uh, Doctor Who shirt, so. And it's the 52nd in the Big Finish monthly range. Uh, and then here's a look at the back. Uh, See so yeah, Doctor Who starring Paul McGann in shirt, so. Written by Robert Schumann and directed by Gary Russell with India Fisher as Charlie. Uh, once upon a time, there were two friends, and together they travelled the cosmos. They fought with tyrants and defeating monsters, they righted wrongs wherever they went, they explored a distant future and a distant past. New worlds and galaxies, beyond places beyond imagining. But every good story has to come to an end, with uh, no times or places left to explore. All the two friends have now are each other, but maybe that's one voyage too many. Maybe they'll discover things they would rather have left undisturbed, hidden away in the suffocating, unfeeling, deafening brightness, once upon a time, far, far away. And its running time is a hundred minutes approximately. See ya. It's not picking up on camera. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the innards. So let's look at uh, the disc, disc one, which has the... Um, kind of uh, apparition-like uh, silhouette of uh, the two hands and then that's the complete same for the second disc as well and then there's those hands again uh, and then here's a look at the booklet so there's, there's the cover uh, and then there's the author note uh, production notes, uh, Scherzo behind the scenes of the recording of the play and um, a nice picture of um, uh, Paul McGann and India Fisher. And then here's a look at the end credits and advertisement for Doctor Who magazine and then the 8th Doctor collection uh, and, the eighth, and all of the uh, and some of the 8th Doctor uh, audios. Uh, going from Sharda up until the Twilight Kingdom. And then there's a look at the back of the booklet. As you can see, it's part of the 40th um, anniversary um, uh, range of releases. Uh, and as you can see, it was written by Robert Schumann, directed by Gary Russell, starring Paul McGann as a doctor, and India Fisher as Charlie. Now were my overall personal thoughts and opinions on Scherzo. Um, I understand this is a very well liked audio by many fans of Big Finish. Um, uh, and it's got a really good reputation and 
I would say I didn't like it as much as some people for sure. Um, I enjoyed the first two episodes and maybe the third a bit as well. Um, and they had really, really strong um, characterization. The characterization in the story is absolutely fantastic, and I think the plot um, is really good. And I think episode three had like the most um, WTF moment I've like ever experienced in a Doctor Who story ever. It was just very WTF. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, good first two episodes, good characterization, really WTF moments. Also, the cliffhangers are pretty uh, what the hell as well, and very weird and stuff. And best way to describe this story is weird. Um, however, I, w uh, however, I would rate this story um, maybe only about a six point five to a seven out of ten. Um, first, good first two episodes, but. Uh, by the point of the third, which I also did enjoy, I felt like the story got a little bit confusing, and then by episode four, it just completely lost me, and by this point, I've only listened to this audio once, and this score may improve um, with further re-listens, but at this point in time, um, 6.5 to a 7 out of 10, good first two episodes, third as well, um, started to get confusing in the third episode and then it just completely lost me in the uh, fourth episode. Um, so yeah, and that pretty much concludes this review of Skirtso, or Skirzo, or Sherzo, or Skirtso, or whatever Zo. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and this review was uh, requested by Doctor Forever. Um, so yeah, so like, for a comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Gold Black, dematerialized. <laughs>